All right, hey guys, what's going on? Um, today, I'm just getting a few bows prepared for hunting season. Uh, like 40 days away, 39 days. And I have two Lakota bows. This one is 60 inches long. It's a bit bigger than the authentic sizes. It'll probably be like a 60 pound bow. These bows, this well, this bow right now, um, it has three bends in it total. It's a bend in the handle, and the two limbs are bending forward, so they're uh, reflexed away from you when you're shooting. You can see it in that way better. And today we're going to be putting recurves in the tip, so it'll have five bends total. Okay, so here's the authentic style. You can see right here. Then I recurved it right there. I'm gonna end up probably re redoing it some more once it cools down. But uh, so today I'm gonna show you how to recurve Osage Orange. So what you're gonna need is just a heat source, some canola oil or fat or something, and then just I use this like crevice in this tree to bend it. So. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna heat it up right quick. Um, I usually get it heated up to where it's just about uh, sc scorching, but just still under some. So, you grab some paper towels, your canola oil. I have it marked where mine get re. But I need to put the heat on. I have this little marker here. So then I just put canola oil mainly around that area, but also do up higher and lower. And now I just put the burner on. And I just start heating up in that general area. Um, with this, it usually takes me three minutes or so because I like to get it really hot and then it bends really good. Just keep on running it back and forth, kind of rotating it, make sure that gets even heat all over and it doesn't start to scorch in one area. This bow should be really powerful and fast shooting with these recurves in it. I'm guessing it will be recurved with how much bend I, I am putting in the tips. It could just be a long bow with reflex tips, but most likely it'll be recurved. I'm gonna end up putting probably some sinew, one, one layer of sinew on this, just because there are a few little hairpin knots and bumps. actually heated up much faster than I thought. So then all I do is just make sure I get it in there good. Right on my marking. And then just kind of take it slow. And then just hold it. And you can see how much it actually is bending in there. Sorry about this, it's just coming off of the tree. And I mean, you can see how easy it is to hold it when it's heated up well. I mean, just kind of watch, make sure no splinters come up and keep on. Oops, nothing happened there. I just, it just slipped out. So. Right about there is where I think I want it. And then you can see, you can also just hold it with, on the side of your leg. I'm just gonna rest my phone on this tree stand for right now. 
and you just let it sit for a bit and cool because once you do take them off and it starts to cool uh, it'll lose some of the reflex I can tell that I took most of it because most of the pressure now is off when I hold the, the other tip sorry about this bad filming I can't really see my screen too well So I just hold it like this for like a minute or two. And once once uh, you pull it out, it should be done. Make sure bow a lot more like uh, lever, like it has a lot more tension against it, especially with this five bends. Uh, where the limbs are reflexed away from you and the tips are, so should be a really powerful little bow. This one, since it's shorter, it could probably be a little 60 pound bow also or something, especially with